Now before this video starts, I just want to say that I finally created an Instagram profile. So if you guys already have an Instagram profile, I'd recommend you guys come and check out my Instagram profile. I know I haven't posted anything yet, but that'll be a future thing. I could post like exclusive stuff from my YouTube channel. And I could also inform you guys when I'll upload my next video. So you guys can always be the first one to click on my video. I also post some pixel gun memes so that I can entertain you guys on Instagram as well as YouTube. My DMs are always open so you guys can talk to me whenever you want. If you have any questions or so, I can answer them for you. But with all that said, please follow my Instagram. If it can reach 200 followers in the next 24 hours, that would be awesome. But that's all I have now and I'll see you all after the intro. You gotta take my cues. <laughs> What's going on guys, my name is ZinnikHD and welcome back to finding another Pixelgun 3D video and in today's Pixelgun 3D video I'm going to be teaching you guys some glitches you could do in the 14.0.2 update. So without further ado, let's get started. So coming up glitch number one, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to get any kinds of weapons in a sandbox server. So as you guys can see, I have all of these weapons which you normally can equip in a sandbox server. But today I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to get any kinds of weapons in a sandbox server. So all you need to do is you have to go to the main menu and we just have to wait from here. And once you're in the main menu, I want you guys just to click on the armory section like this. And uh, after the, after you're in the armory section, I want you guys is to select which weapon uh, you want to take into the sandbox server. So for example, let's say if I want like, I don't know, let's take um, Let's like um, Let's take the Let's take the impulse rifle. So uh, What I have to do from now is I have to click on the picture of the impulse rifle like this And what I have to do is I have to like look at it for like five seconds and once I've done that I can I can go out from the armory section and I have to go back into the mini game section. I have to click on the sandbox and I have to click go. And now we have to wait to connect to our server. We just have to wait to load. And once you have done that, uh, I don't have it yet, but this is the last step. And this is what you guys want to do is um, uh, you have to click on the armory button here. And then you have to click on equip. As you guys can see, it says equip underneath my character. You have to click equip now. And as you guys can see, I have the impulse rifle. So yeah, that was basically the glitch number one. And let's move on to the glitch number two. And coming up glitch number two, I'm going to be teaching you guys a glitch on how to reload your weapons very fast. So all you need to do now is just waste a couple of your bullets. And as you guys can see, I've wasted a couple of my bullets. So. Uh, once you have wasted a couple of your bullets, you're pretty much done and ready to do to perform the glitch So all you need to do now is um well first of all you have to recognize the amount of ammo I have so you guys don't think I'm cheating or anything The second thing you need to go into armory section and you guys need to change weapons very quickly So this this is how this is gonna look like just gonna change 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 Change, change, and as you guys can see, I have reloaded. I have reloaded all of my weapons very, very, very fast. So I can actually also do this without the glitch, so we can see how long time it actually takes to reload all of these weapons, and we can count. Okay, let's take with the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen. 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 23. Okay, so it took, um, it took around like 23 seconds to reload all of these weapons, um, like normally. So after this round, as you guys can see, there's only like five seconds left, and then we're gonna count how long it takes to reload all of these weapons with the glitch I just showed you guys. So remember, it took 23 seconds to reload all of these weapons without the glitch. So now let's do it with the glitch. I'm just gonna waste some bullets here. And 
Let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, for, for the thirteen. All right. So it took twenty. It took ten seconds less with the glitch. So you will actually save around like ten seconds with this glitch, which is actually really good because you could actually like get a kill, um, in these ten seconds. But yeah, that was basically the glitch number two, and let's move on to the glitch number three. Alright, so now this is going to be a very short glitch, but coming up at glitch number three, I'm going to be teaching you guys at how to fly a warehouse assault. So all you need to do is you basically have to come uh, on top of this warehouse. All I have to do is um, you have to point towards this place. I want you to do that. Yeah, I want you guys just to double jump, double jump. And once you've done that, as you guys can see, I'm standing on this platform, and, this pl and then this platform, you can basically move wherever you want. So this is a very short glitch, and it's not very useful, but you know, I just thought I might just as well add it in here with the other glitches. So yeah, that's basically it, and let's move on to the glitch number four. So coming up with glitch number four, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to get God Mode inside of the space station in campaign map. So... This, this glitch is only going to be giving you guard mode against the boss. It will not give you a guard mode glitch against the other enemies in the game. So all you need to do now is you basically have to like kill the enemies. So I'm going to come back once I've done all that. Alright, so you guys can see I've killed every monster there is in this, uh, in this map. So all we need to do now is you have to basically stand right in front of the boss. And then he wouldn't attack us, so all we need... Wait, I think I failed this glitch. Oh wait, no, we need to get the boss inside of this map, so you have to stand right in front of you, and he wouldn't attack you. And, um, and once you, like, come, like, here inside, you have to, like, position him in a way which he will, like, begin to, like, push you in this direction. Once you do that, wait, I think I failed the glitch. I need him to, I need him to come back. Oh yeah, and I, I know he's here, so we can do the glitch. And as you guys can see, he pushed us right through this massive like, like what do you even what do you even call this like? It's like like a stairway. All right, so let's just call this a stairway. And and um, the bus actually pushed us through. Oh wait, no, I actually got inside. But anyway, guys, you you got to see the glitch, and you already seen the glitch. So yeah, so yeah, you already know how the glitch is gonna look like and how. And how the glitch? Yeah, sorry, I'm just starting a lot today. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just speechless today. But yeah, uh, with that said, let's move on to the glitch number five. So coming up at glitch number five, which is also going to be our last glitch for this video, is on how to get unlimited gems in Pexagon 3D. So this will not give you unlimited gems, but it will make you able to. So like, how can I say it? Like skip. So as you guys know, if I click on the free currency button, a ad will pop up on my screen, but there's actually a glitch to like skip this ad. So all I need to do is I obviously have to click on the free currency button. And once I've done that, I have to wait till the ad pops up. 